Hello everyone, it's Rocco the Crins with another video for you. Uh, I'm not sure what I wanted to talk about. I had an idea and I started it and I'm like, I know I can't just hate on Brian Michael Bendis all the time. I mean, he's an easy target. He's a very, very, very easy target because he writes shitty comic books. And if any one of you knows me, my name is Kip Andrew Orr and that's my face. My ugly fucking face right there. I love comics. The Legion of Superheroes is like my favorite comic, but DC hasn't brought it back yet. Supergirl TV show brought mon on season two. So that was pretty cool. They brought Brainiac and, I don't know, a couple other characters in season three. I'm not sure if I like it. It's a different take on all of them, but I did like the Brainiac 5 and, and Kara relationship. I thought that they were, you know... Much like the comics, they were going to come together. But no one reads comic books anymore, and no one understands what I'm talking about anymore. And that's fine. I mean, it's completely fine. And I can rant, I can rage, I can I can continue, uh, you know, this. Shazam is something I didn't touch on in the last video, and I meant to. Because I think they're adapting Jeff John's version of the, uh, the story. Let's see. Get my face right up in here so everyone can see the grayed out, ugly fucking face of mine. Anyways, uh, the Jeff John story that was originally presented in the back of Justice League during the New 52. They're doing an adaptation of it without Black Adam, which I, I don't know. Could they not get The Rock? And... and I, I don't want to see him in a movie again anytime soon. Not that he's bad. It's just every other month there's a movie with Dwayne Johnson in it. Every other month. And I'm not exaggerating. I don't think. I mean, it was Jumanji and Rampage and Skyscraper. And there I think there's something coming up in December or so. So uh, it's a four-quadrant kind of uh, career he's working on. I don't blame him one bit, but I don't want fans of DC Comics to be like, God damn, Dwayne Johnson's in this too? I don't know if I'd feel that way. I mean, he's awesome. <laughs> he's like one of the greatest, uh, I don't want to say he's a great actor, but he's a great human being. And, <laughs> you know, he does his thing and it's, I don't know, he's... I like I like The Rock. I like Dwayne Johnson. I think he's great. And I don't know if he'd be good as Black Adam, because Black Adam has to be really, really, really bad. And I think he can do it, because he was a heel. He was a heel when he started out in, uh, you know, in the WWF. I'll never call it the WWE. Fuck that. I'm not down. Anyways, he's not going to be in the movie. But from what we saw in the trailer, we got Freddy, Freddy Freeman, if you don't know. The kid with, uh, with a, it's not a cane, it's like a, I don't know what it is. Anyways, he might have two of them. I don't know. In the comic book, he had two of them. But in the movie, it looks like he only got one to help him walk around. Anyways, he's got a great personality. I like that kid. Billy, on the other hand, is kind of a, you know, he's bounced from foster home to foster home. He's, you know, he's a troubled kid. But he makes, you know, he, I don't know if he makes friends with Freddy originally, but he does come to his defense. And when he runs from the bigger guys that were bullying Freddy for reasons that aren't clear in the trailer. I have an idea, though. Like, they paid Freddy to write a paper for him. You know, and they got a D on their paper. So they're a little disappointed with Freddy there. I, in the comic, that's what it is. You know, Freddy, he's not a clean kid in the comic book. So I'm hoping they keep that, because there's no reason for those guys to want to beat up a cripple. 
You know? And they're rich. The rich kids don't beat up a cripple. They paid him to do something for them, and it failed them. That's why they were upset with him. And that would be right out of the comic. But Billy coming to his defense is also straight from the comic. And he, he escapes and gets on the subway. And I'll tell you, if there isn't more of a conversation between the wizard and Billy, you know, because the wizard, he's been looking for people. In the comic book, he's been looking for anyone who has a just a good soul. Not a pure one, a good one. You know, he just wants a good one. And Billy comes in and he's like, Sir? He says, Sir, to the wizard. And, and I think that's it. I think that's all it takes is someone showing him a little respect. And he's like, Yeah, and you did a good deed. You showed me some respect. I know you laughed at my name. But yeah, I'm going to imbue with my power. And give you no instruction manual. <laughs> so it's very much the world's greatest superhero that has no... <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. And I like the training montage. If it is a training montage, in the video, in the, in the trailer, it looks like one. And, you know, it made me laugh. I don't even know how to pee in this thing. I love that. How the hell do you pee in a super suit? I guess he has to say Shazam and then go to the bathroom. You know? I'm guessing. But, yeah. It's the it's not like jokes. I don't think it was a joke every second. But it's bringing a more light-hearted... Uh, even though they have the dark elements. When you look through Freddy's memorabilia, there's like... A bullet that bounced off Superman. There's a batarang. There's, I don't know, uh, some newspapers like saying like, "What is Superman's agenda on Earth?" Stuff like that. I mean, that brings in a little darker, I think, because Batman v Superman was a pretty dark movie. Anyways, and Man of Steel was pretty dark too. But uh, I digress. Shazam, I hope they they do a Captain Marvel reference in the movie. Because he was Captain Marvel way before Carol Danvers was Captain Marvel. And I hope they do that. I hope they make a reference to it at least. Because, you know, you can't... What, that's the magic word that you say that turns you into a superhero? And that's your superhero name? That's kind of dumb, Right? Anyways, I think they have to touch on the Captain Marvel name, because that is the character's real name in the comics since 1938, 39, somewhere in there. It was an allegory for Superman, you know, I think it was, I can't think of the comic book company that created Captain Marvel, not right off the top of my head, it'll come to me. Anyways, they created him as a copy, but as wish fulfillment for children. You know, I'm a kid. I say the magic word and I turn into a super-powered adult. I mean, who doesn't want that? As a kid, I mean, every... Ah, well, maybe not rich kids. Rich kids feel like they got it all. Or maybe they don't. I don't know. Anyways, the human condition is a strange thing, and this channel is not about that. I'm not a psychoanalyst. I'm not going to go into that. Anyways, wish fulfillment is something, though, and Billy Batson gets it, even if it's not what he wanted. Freddy, on the other hand, would have loved to turn into a superhero. But Freddy's kind of a dirty kid, you know? He, you know, he sells test scores, or test answers to the other kids at school. That kind of stuff. So he's not like a pure kid. Billy's not either. But I think in the long run, of all the all the people that have been 
like Shazam has tried to enlist into the the role of champion because he knows something bad's coming. He needs a champion. Billy's the only one that has even a shred of goodness. And he's not selfish, you know? And that goes a long way, I think. With the wizard, I think he just knows that this kid's not selfish. So, I think I think that should work out. And then he creates... Where, where's the wisdom of Solomon? I don't know. But I'm glad he gets to be a kid in a giant body. You know, I'm glad that happens. And it's just a trailer, so I imagine at some point in the movie, he'll get the wisdom of Solomon, and he'll get the ability to run real fast from, I don't know, I'm trying to think of all the acronyms, Hermes or something. I don't even know Shazam that well, and I read the whole thing, and I read his comic back in the day. Shazam was one of my favorite characters, because he's a big, dumb Boy Scout. I always liked that. I hated Superman. Go figure. Superman was more adult. He was married. He was he was always in a relationship with Lois. Where Billy was always like a kid. And then he turned into a Superman. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going anymore with this video. So I think it's time to sign out. Uh, this is Rocco the Krenz. And if you can see my ugly face, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Yeah. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and rock that bell because I do believe I'll be uploading more videos. I live in my car right now. It's not going to be like this forever, but uh, that's the light right there shining down on me. If you like my opinions or if you want to disagree with them, leave a comment. Rock the bell for notifications and my old friend Captain Cummins said rock it like the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe and you like the video. Yeah, something like that. Try to sign out and try to be cool. But I'm talking about comic books. What's cool about that? Peace! as Rob would say. <laughs>